Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing how to code a very flexible, non-laggy number counter in Scratch. This number counter is an improved version of my last number counter, and you can check that video out down below, but I highly recommend using this one I'm going to be showing today instead because it is way less laggy and it even has the option to center the text which is a comment I got asked about a lot in my last number counter video. And also, if you check the link in the description below, I'll leave the link to the actual project so you can go look at the code and copy it if you'd like. Before we get into the episode, don't forget to hit the like button and drop a subscribe. That did not even make sense. And leave a comment down below. But anyway, let's get coding. We have a ton of options to choose from. We can set the position of it. So maybe instead of 0, 0, I want it to be over to the left. So now you can see that it's over here. On top of that, you can change the size of it. I can change the spacing in between letters and the biggest feature is the centered so as you can see here right now when we get more digits you can see that it keeps going to the right but if we set the centered to true you can see that if I change it by 500 it always stays in the center and the cool part about this is no matter what the size is or the spacing or the position it will still work so say I set the size to like 150 and the spacing to 0.5 we change the value it's still centered on the center that didn't really make sense and last but not least we can actually duplicate this block right here and set the text to something put it down here set the x position to negative 150 y to 150 centered to false and the text id to 2 we have this secondary text up here and when we change this value it does not affect this other value because it has a different id so you can see that this also can handle multiple text so now that you can see the engine let's get into the tutorial on how to make it alrighty so i just have one sprite called counter now you can really name this whatever you want within it i have 10 costumes i have one two three four five six seven eight nine and then zero whatever number it is that's what the costume name is so say number eight here the costume name is actually eight and they are all in red text so that way we can use the color effect block and change the color easily start by going to my blocks and create a brand new block called text now put a colon in press space and add a label and now add an input called text add a label called size with a colon and an input called size now a label called x with a colon an input called x a label called y with a colon an input called y a label called spacing with a colon a input called spacing a label called centered with a colon and an input called centered a label called text id with a colon and then an input called id and make sure you click run without screen refresh now once you click ok you should have this ginormous block with all of these options and make sure that yours looks like this and when you pull out the actual block you can see that it's all labeled nicely so we know what all these inputs do so now that we have that let's do a win green flag clicked forever and then put the block right there now we can actually make this work so start by just putting in some random numbers for the text set the size to 100 the x and y to 0 0 the spacing to 0 0.25 centered equals false for now and text id is equal to 1 so now we can actually code this part to make that display the right number so let's start by doing a go to 0 Zero, 0 and change this to x and y. Now we need to make a for the sprite only variable, make sure it's for the sprite only, called i. And this is going to keep track of the digit. Now set that i to 1 and above this set the size to size. Next we are going to repeat 10 times and change this to length of text. Switch costume to letter 1 of apple and change this to letter i of text text now make a variable for the sprite only called clone id and set the clone id to id and then create clone of myself next we are going to make it move one space to the right change x by spacing times the size and last but not least change the i by one go ahead and hide the initial sprite and add a when i start as a clone here show and clear graphic effects so now you can see that look at that it's printing out our message but there's one problem you can see that it's creating the clones a lot we need a way to make it to where it clears the clones out every time to do this add a broadcast message right here and do a new message name this one delete clones now when i receive delete clones we are just going to delete this clone so now you can see that it will always print the right number and if we change this number it will automatically update now let's just make it actually be a variable instead of us inputting a number so make a for all sprite variable called value and you can change this variable name 
name to anything so it could be score or points whatever you want i'm just going to do value and put this in that right there and now in the beginning set the value to zero now you can see that whatever this value is set to it will update the counter to that now there's one problem this is extremely laggy because every frame is clearing out the clones so instead of this we want to just check if the value is different from the previous frame and if it is then it will update otherwise it'll just stay the same to do this make a for the sprite only variable called update counter now we are going to set the update counter to value right here now add an if statement not equals and put update counter not equals to value that means that if the value is different from the old value then it's going to update now in the beginning set the update counter to value plus one now you can see that this delete clones only turns yellow and activates when the value is changed but when we're just sitting here it's not constantly deleting the clones now let's make it to where you can choose to center the text so see this go to right here add an if else and put this in the else section now check if the centered is equal to true so put a go to block right here and for the y just do y and now we need to figure out how to make this centered according to its size the length of the text the spacing and all those values so here is how you do that start by putting a length of text in here multiply that by the spacing times size now take all of that times negative 0.5 so that will make it go halfway back across the screen now add that like this to duplicate spacing times size take that divided by 2 so spacing times size divided by 2 put that in there and put another add put all of that in the left and then take that plus the X which is the position make sure that yours looks exactly like mine otherwise this won't work so now if we set the center to true let's see if this actually works there we go it's always centered instead Instead of going from left to right and if we make it like a really big number you can see that it's still centered in the middle of the screen and if you're having trouble then like I said check out the link in the description and just pull this block into your backpack that way it's exactly the same so now let's make the text a little nicer looking so let's set the color and then make it kind of fly down when it changes in the when I start as a clone set the brightness effect to 100 so this will make it white that's gonna make it disappear so we need to make the backdrop here a different color so let's make it a nice dark gray that way we can actually see our counter and you can change the color effect here too because if I set the color effect like 150 you can see that it's 1500 it's a blue and then I'm gonna make it negative 50 brightness but for me I just want it to be white which is brightness 100 now make two variables called clone X make sure you do for the sprite only and the second one's going to be for the sprite only clone Y now set those two variables to the X and Y position so set clone X to x position and set clone y to y position now if the clone id is equal to one which is this text right here then we're going to go ahead and just change the y by 10 so you can see that this text is up top here but if we set the text id to 2 you can see that it goes back down now forever let's make it go back to its clone x and y so add a change x by a divided by and put a minus in the left side take this divided by 5 put the x position over here and then the clone x right here duplicate this and change this to change y by clone y y position now you can see that it will smoothly slide back down. Now instead of 10, let's just do 9 because I think it looks slightly better. So now you can see that every time the value gets changed, it does this really nice animation and it just makes it smoother. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and drop a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Anyway, this has been Owen and I am out.